All right, so today we have March Raves and Rejects. I am half fully drowsy, drugged out on migraine meds right now and half really caffeinated, so this should be a fun video. March freaking flew by, literally the fastest month so far. I don't know how the heck it's already spring, but I'm really down for spring right now. It has actually been getting sunny in Seattle. Feeling really good about life right now. I don't have a whole lot of products to mention this month because my last Rays and Rejects was like ginormous. I also just filmed my everyday foundation routine. That video basically talks about my favorite skin and foundation products at the moment. So I'm not mentioning any of those in this video just because I just did a whole video talking about that. So you can go watch that if you're interested. Let's get into it. So the first product is the brand new ColourPop Brow Pencil. ColourPop came out with brow pencils and potted gel brow products. I actually haven't tried the gel ones yet because I can't get the freaking things open. Literally, I swear they like super glued lids on these. If you can figure out how to get the lids off those darn things, let me know. I've tried recruiting roommates. I've tried everything. I can't get them open. But the brow pencil is really nice. It's what I'm wearing on my brows right now. I've pretty much just been wearing this. I did get my brows permanently uh, cosmetic tattooing permanent brows, whatever. I got permanent brows, I did a whole video on it. So I've only needed to fill in my brows a little bit lately, which has been super nice, but it has this spooly end and then the actual pencil is a really nice wind up fine point. It's a retractable pencil, nothing super special, except these are like $5, really nice quality. With a lot of brow pencils, I find that it either glides on too soft where you're kind of getting too much color or it's too waxy and I feel like this is the perfect medium. I have been really enjoying this. The shade I have is black and brown. I also use the shade Bang & Burnett just depending on what I'm feeling like that day. I think this brow pencil is an awesome affordable option. Next I have to mention this because this has like changed my hair. This is the Eastlawn Sleek Dream Smoothing Balm. I feel like Eastlawn hair products are totally underrated. I've done a couple videos with them and you guys know that I'm like pretty selective about the sponsorships I take on. Eastlawn hair products, there's only been one that I've been disappointed with so far and that's the shampoo and that just didn't lather and I mentioned it in my empties video but like I can't find a high-end shampoo that actually lathers and for me that's just something I really like in shampoos. But anyways, Every hair product I've tried from them so far, I've loved. I love their heat protectant. This smoothing balm is like the bomb. No pun intended. So it says this smooths from the inside out, eliminates frizz, and increases style memory. Who knows if that's true? But what I do know, I put this in my hair when it's damp before I blow dry it, and my hair has never felt so soft. I have super thick, coarse, wavy hair, and I can pretty much go with just blow drying my hair now. I still straighten it just because I feel like it holds in my hair better, but I could go outside without looking like Simba if I had to, thanks to this stuff. I have this theory that Eastlawn hair products are like designed after perfume scents. To me, this smells exactly like Marc Jacobs Daisy. You can get three for $15, which is super affordable with the link down below. It's not an affiliate link. I'm not making any money off this, but if you want to save some money, you can use that link. So it's $5 a product, which is an amazing deal. Next is a new setting spray in my life, and this is the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. This I've been using every single day. It is freaking expensive, so I've literally been using like a few spritzes of this and then using my L'Oreal for the rest of my face. But I feel like this actually really makes a difference. If you have like an event that you need to go to, or if you need your makeup to last especially long, I think this stuff is worth the money. It gives you a super pretty dewy finish to your face. The only thing I don't like about this is the spritzer. I feel like it's kind of like fire hose status. Doesn't have as nice of a mist as the L'Oreal one. I'm thinking about pouring this in my L'Oreal bottle just because I love the way that that one mists out. This one is a little bit harsh and I feel like I have to kind of like do a weird spray thing when I do it to get my face evenly. Next are these lashes and these are the lashes I'm wearing right now. It's Cara Cara, whatever, S4. You can get these off I Kate House, and these are dollar lashes. I'm pretty sure all of the Care brand are a dollar, and I've tried a few different versions of this brand, and they're just really nice for the price. I love the way these ones look. I feel like these would be really nice for prom. If you have prom coming up, I feel like this style S4 would be really nice. I'm not wearing any eyeliner right now, and it just opens up your eyes. I'll leave a link for these down below, along with everything else that I'm mentioning. Whoa, nose itch. Don't you hate that when you're wearing foundation and you can't like itch your nose? My lips have been ridiculously dry this month. I don't know what it is, 
They weren't bad at all during winter, and this month they're literally peeling off my lips. My lips are peeling off my lips. Blistex medicated lip ointment has been the only thing that's actually been saving my lips. I put this on at night and like coat that shit on. In the morning, my lips aren't peeling anymore. They're good. I do reapply this throughout the day if I have to. I've tried like my high-end lip balms. I've tried Carmex, Vaseline. Nothing works as well as this guy, and this is like a few dollars from the drugstore. The lipstick that I've been wearing pretty much every single day is the Maybelline lipstick in 210 Totally Toffee. This is the shade right here. Super nice neutral nude shade. I wear this to work. It doesn't look too dark. It actually stays on pretty well for not being like a long lasting lipstick or anything. Sometimes I'll use a lip liner with this. Sometimes I'll just put it on super quick in the morning. It's just a really nice everyday shade. And if you need something that's wearable for school or work, uh, get this. It's like $5 from the drugstore. The other two lip products that stood out this month were the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lips in the shade K and Chai. I believe both of these were from the ColourPop K-Pop collection. And these are just so freaking pretty. There's something about these shades that just like are very appealing to me. I'm wearing K on my lips right now. It looks a lot darker on the lips than it does in the tube. So just be aware of that. I don't know why I'm swatching this because it's literally on my lips right now. So right there we have Chai and there we have K. So yeah, K. This one looks pretty similar in swatches to the Maybelline one, but I feel like when it's on your lips, it looks a little bit darker. This I raved about on Snapchat. If you don't follow me on Snapchat, it's the Taylor Snaps. This is the Victoria's Secret Love Me More perfume. No words. So I was in the Victoria's Secret store and smelled this and it was like love at first sniff. It smells like a girl version of Axe, but with more amber to it. And it's literally probably the most addicting perfume smell I've ever smelled. I could sit here and sniff this all day. They were actually out of the perfume in store and it is limited edition. I thought the lady in store said it was a fall perfume, but online I think it says spring 2016. So I think it's only going to be available for this spring. Definitely picking up the body spray online. You need to go to the store and smell this. Or if you have similar perfume taste as me, then you can just buy it online. I do have a perfume collection video. I'm a major perfume hoarder. Let's just roll. Speaking of Axe and Dude Sense, next I have the Dial Odor Armor 24 Hour Odor Neutralizing Body Wash. And this stuff is legit. I actually first tried this at a friend's house in California. They had this like in their guest bathroom. Let's just be real for a sec. I sweat, I have to cake on the deodorant and this stuff legit helps. It actually neutralizes your underarm odor. If you can't find a good deodorant that actually works on you, try this in combination with a deodorant. Sometimes the guy products can be a little harsh under your arms. This I haven't had any issues with. Smells like a really good smelling dude. The scent does linger a little bit, so if you don't want to smell like a guy, just spray some perfume over top. But for me, it's worth it because smelling like a good smelling guy isn't the worst thing in the world. All right, my last rave of the month is this CoverGirl True Blend Blush in the shade Medium Rose. I just had to say that 25 times. This is one of their new blushes. The shade of this is just beautiful. I use this in my Mad Men tutorial and that was like a little bit more heavy handed than I usually apply it. But I wear this almost every single day. Really nice pink rosy flush. It stays on all day, it has a really nice finish to it and I'm just really feeling this. All right, on to rejects. I have three rejects this month. The first one is from Physicians Formula. You guys know is one of my favorite drugstore brands. Two of my Holy Grail products are from them, but this one didn't cut it. So this is an ultra nourishing argan oil blush in the shade Natural. Uh, this stuff has straight up glitter in it. Like I don't know who wants to put glitter on their face. At first I thought it was just an overlay. There is gold ass glitter in here. It actually shows up on your face as glitter. Sometimes blushes have a little bit of glitter in them, but when you actually blend it on your face, it somehow doesn't show up. This is like you have a Kesha look going on. The other thing, this smells like whoa straight up grandma. It has such a strong scent. You put it on your face and I started coughing. Second reject of the month are these Morphe cucumber wipes. These are supposed to be makeup removing wipes. These were pretty shitty. I've been keeping these in my makeup drawer to just use on my desk area because these do not do crap for my face. You can get your face makeup off but don't even go there trying to remove eye makeup with these things. My last reject is this Grand Liner Lash Boosting Liner. I love the packaging on this, so I was pretty bummed that the product was shitty. This I used in a Shadow and Schmooze video, the yellow matte eye or whatever, and 
it just isn't that black at all and the actual tip nothing comes out of the tip of this I've tried storing it upside down if you're someone who likes to create a wing you need that tip to actually have product and pigment to it and this just wasn't great so that was everything I feel like I didn't have a ton of stuff I'm getting whiffs of this perfume and it smells so damn good. I'm filming this video on the weekend like I always do and I am cranking out the videos this weekend so I hope you guys have been enjoying the surplus of videos. Make sure you're following me on all of my social media. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook. If you guys like this video and you want more Raisin Rejects videos, give it a thumbs up so I know. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Guys, it makes you look like you're wearing more makeup than you actually are. Wait, no. Makes you look like you're wearing I just confused myself. Makes your eyes look really good without having to actually try.